Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Surviving Minecraft Hardcore. We're starting the episode off over by the lighthouse because I noticed that there was a very distinct lack of texturing. And hopefully, by the end of this episode, I'll have made it look at least a little bit better. There arises the issue, of course, though, that I'm... I'm not a very good builder, and I'm definitely not very good at texturing. So I'm gonna get started on this, and I will hopefully have this finished quite quickly. Good news! I did finish it pretty quickly, but the bad news is it... it... It just, it just looks bad. Which is fine, because the more I do it, the better it gets. And while we're on the topic of things getting better, I did actually want to make myself a brand new pickaxe. Except this one is going to have Silk Touch. I don't remember where I put it though. Uh... Aha! There you are. Silk Touch. Okay, we got Silk Touch, we got the pickaxe. Let's put them together. <laughs> right, almost forgot to name it. Um... Not, I'm not too sure, so we're just gonna name it Silky because, yep. I know it could have been a bit more original, but <laughs> I was on the spot, okay? Don't judge me. Does this look like the face of a man who can come up with good names for things? Because it's not. The only thing I'm good at coming up with is nothing. See? While I'm out and about, I should probably check on the llama, make sure everything's okay with him. Hello, Wiki. Hope your day is going good. Everything seems to be in order here. I added a service bell for in case we get any visitors and they they pop up and there's nobody here to help they can just go ding 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 and then and then hopefully somebody will be right down and by somebody i mean wiki because that's their job i forgot i went over here to check and see if wiki's book maybe had some updates in it or something which let me see it does all right wiki sleepy no bed for wiki question mark you build now wiki so you need a bed what carpet carpet on on a shelf isn't good enough for you now fine i'll build you a bed but this is gonna be no ordinary bed no 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 this is gonna be a very special bed it is in fact going to be a very llama bed what that means i'm i'm not entirely sure but it it sounds fun and the first thing that came to mind was like a nice little like spa slash hotel kind of relaxation place um and then i stemmed from that idea and i came up with an uh, an idea for a build that is going to be completely llama shaped similar to how it, what i did with the lighthouse at the top there there's going to be i'm going to be trying to go for a, a nice little luxury house for for wiki up there it's going to be shaped like a llama it's gonna have the bed in it and i think it'll look beautiful someone is in a pickle all right, I've made some progress and it is looking pretty good so far. I got most of the default shape built up of the llama. Um, we got the little nose, the little ears. We got some some framework going on. I just got to figure out the like the layout I'm going to be having of the interior and stuff. I'm just I'm just going to finish this. This little building has actually come together way better than I originally thought it was going to. And despite the fact that I think it still looks really good like this, I still have all kinds of stuff that I gotta do, including the interior. First thing I should do for the interior is see if I can't bring it to life just a little bit. And to do that, I usually would do something along the lines of just adding greenery kind of all over the place. But I think this, this room is so small that it doesn't need very much to just give it that little bit extra pop. I lied. I, I have no idea what I'm talking about. I just like the color green. The rest of these decorations are just kind of higgledy piggledy sprinkled in because I have no idea what I'm doing and interior decoration, I, I can't do it. And with that, the exterior and the interior of the llama house are both fully completed. Now all I gotta do is figure out what I'm gonna be doing with this farm here because I got no idea. It's been some hours. I, I spent some time in my creative world trying really hard to come up with something, and after many, many failed attempts, I, I've settled on the very basic, very default looking heart shape, and I absolutely love it, and I have no idea why I didn't do this before, because it's perfect. Such a cute little form. I've got a lot of terraforming I still have to do, but other than that, this is coming along very nicely. I love this idea. And I think it's coming along great. I added some path blocks here, um, I didn't learn my lesson from the last time I used them because for some reason I actually thought they looked pretty good. I, d I don't know why I'm doing this to myself. I'm sure in the future I'll have to rip them up again, but that's okay because right now I think they look super cute, which matches the whole super cute stuff <laughs> that I got going on right now. 
all I got left to do is to start planting some stuff. And of course, we're going to start it off with just carrots. And then as we work our way around the heart, we will add in potatoes and stuff kind of on the inside. And then maybe even some beetroot if I can grow some. This llama stuff is turning out to be really, really fun. We just got to wait for the, for the carrots and everything to start growing now. I do believe that is the whole garden completely finished up and all grown and stuff, which means also that the wiki house is also completed. I just moved the llama friend over to the house, and now the last thing to do is bring them their bed, and then they should be a very happy llama. I, I, I would hope. Please, please be happy. Oops, that's not, you're not, this isn't Harry Potter. You're not sleeping under the stairs. You're sleeping, hmm. I just popped the bed down right here. If you if you want to move the bed somewhere else, you're welcome to do so. Oh, hello. Have you got anything? Gray dye. Hey. Pumpkin, white tulip, sand. Mm. I'm gonna have to pass. Sorry, friend. Now that we've got Wiki moved inside their house, I think I should move on to the next stuff I needed to do in today's episode. The first one being finishing the honey pot again. I keep on getting distracted, so I never actually finish it. I just do little bits and pieces at a time, and that's bad for business. Bada do, bada dee, I love honey. I just realized that for how much building I've been doing recently, I feel like a really good investment would be scaffolding, except I don't know how to make that, so I'm gonna go check the recipe really quick. All right, let's type in scaffolding. It's six bamboo and one string for six pieces. Well, that's not very bad. I've got some string right here. All I need now is bamboo, which I do not seem to have, which is okay. I can go find some. I just really don't want to. All right, I guess we've picked up a side quest. We have to go see if we can find ourselves a bamboo forest so that we can get ourselves some bam... Bamboo? Is this bamboo just, just here? I didn't place any bamboo. Look at this, there's a little cart! Oh, uh, look at this! Look, we got a little bamboo- There's a mangrove leaf up there, too, for some reason. We got a little bamboo thing! A little- What is this? Traveling bamboozle. That's so weird. A, br a brown panda? Excuse me? This is the coolest little cart I've seen in my life. Look at this little bamboo- It's got a horse! It's got a- It's, it's a carriage! It's a bamboo carriage cart! That is so cool. Before I buy anything from you, uh, I had to change your name because this is just way better. <laughs> the traveling pan boo merchant <laughs> instead of the bamboozle. I didn't like that. This uh, this sounds way better. I found a bit more string, so it's time to go buy myself up some bamboo now. I don't know how many I need, but I'm going to assume maybe two stacks is good. Oh, wow, you got a lot. Okay, you take my diamonds and <laughs> thank you very much. I, I appreciate I appreciate you. This is the most weird thing. A traveling bamboo cart is the last thing I expected to see leaving my house, but the first thing I wanted to see. Because now I don't have to go on a giant adventure trying to find some bamboo. I got I got myself two stacks of scaffolding. I am I'm good to go. Though this probably would have been a lot more helpful like four months ago. Back to beekeeping. Oh my goodness. This is so much easier now. I don't have to sit here and jump for ages. Also, I'm fully aware that if you put the bee farms inside of the nether or the end, they'll they'll work forever because there's no day or night cycle. Um, I refuse to do that, right? Because that is super inhumane and we love bees and we respect their time off. They deserve, oh, well, there goes that. They deserve breaks because they might be bees, but they're human. I could not have finished this room at a per at a more perfect time because as soon as I opened the trap doors, a bee a bee flew through, and now they're in the upstairs section where I put all the honey. So, I guess that's it's it's good news, the roof is finished. Bad news, we have a new bee, and he's up here now. It's okay, I know how to fix this. If if I can wait until nighttime, I'll just open the grate again once all the other bees are in their beds sleeping, and then he'll go through. And he'll head back to his nest and 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 take his little nap. Perfect. Let's take a quick look at it from the thumbnail tree just to seal the deal and and you know put it in concrete that it is done. Nothing is ever truly done until you see it from the thumbnail tree. Wow, look at that building. 
<laughs> that is one good looking honey pot. Also, the, the llama house from here looks pretty cool. It's a shame you can't see the heart farm though. That was I really loved doing that. That was that was a really fun time. It's a it's a shame. I might have to cut maybe I could cut down some of these trees, just a couple of them. Um Yeah, look at man, look at all this stuff. Look at all this stuff we've done in just a couple months as a team. Th that is that is absolutely absurd to me that, that this this is our own little settlement. I'm I'm so proud of this this little place. Also, thank you everybody who gave me suggestions for, for stuff to build, you know, and, and kind of sticking along through through the whole the whole journey. While we're on the topic of suggestions, I just came up with a pretty good idea to show my my appreciation to all the supporters who go and comment on my videos, offering their, their suggestions and input for things I could do in episodes. You know, it could be pet names, places to go, things to see. And this comes in the form of something I call the adventure log. The adventure log will be a book that will be filled with people's names who comment on my videos offering suggestions or or things of that nature and yeah so from this day forth if you leave a suggestion on my video your name is almost certainly going to end up inside this log starting from most recent we have arctic fox 819 for suggesting and i go and get myself a pet fox i really like this idea so i'm pretty sure that is the next thing i'm going to do in this episode but first i wanted to point out that i also went through every video i ever made and went and added all of the people's names that suggested stuff uh that was added into the world so i've got eight pages so far of people that i found in the comments that gave me information or or something that helped with the videos but before we go and get ourselves a fox i forgot i have to go rename the camel because i did take somebody else's suggestion they said they wanted him to be named lump and i thought that was a fantastic name welcome to the team lump onwards into the forest to hopefully find myself a fox here pretty soon hmm this is a little harder than i thought i'm sure they're around here somewhere though i'm just not looking hard enough I take it back. I'm looking as hard as I can. I don't see anything. We've got... We've got the hounds. We just need the fox now. Wait a minute. I live really close to an ice spike biome. Hey, that's pretty cool. Aha! Uh -huh. He was blending in. <laughs> it was blending into the lava. He's got a stick. <laughs> this is the one. This is our buddy right here. Alright. Well, this is a new experience for me. I don't know how to tame these, really. Uh, just feed them some berries, right? And do I just put them onto the lead and then call it a day? Here, I don't want to knock them off, so we're gonna go up from the top. But that, we'll just drag them. We'll drag them upwards with us as we go. There we go, buddy. Come on. This way. Is there two? No way. There's two. Come here. They made a baby. Oh my goodness. Okay, we'll take how about how about we grab the baby? There we go. Come little baby. This way. Can can you make it down? I'm gonna go back home and I'm gonna find a couple more leads and then grab the whole family so we can we can keep them all together. Come now, little baby fox. Time to come home. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's so cute. Sorry. No, I need that back. I need that back. <laughs> he took the lead. No. <laughs> what have you did? Okay, I'm just gonna go get some more. All right. I picked up the whole family. They're all so amazing. I'm so happy. This could not have gone any better. <laughs> oh my goodness. Perfect. Ah, oh, there. That's where my door went. I broke it so I could get him in here, and it disappeared. Aren't you adorable? It's all right. You guys can keep all the stuff you find. I'll still let you stick around. Uh, I, I, I need to go to bed. All right. Well, I named the baby one Todd. I'm not sure what to name the parents here, so I'm going to go ahead and leave it up to you all. I can't believe we managed to get three foxes today. I was expecting only one, but no, we came out of it with three, which is great. Don't get me wrong. And with the foxes now tamed and friendly, it is time, I believe, to move on to the next part of the episode, which is something to do with lump i'm not sure what it is yet i'll figure it out though <laughs> i figured it out all right i have an idea and it involves cactus right so because lump is a camel 
I figured maybe I could put him in charge of some sort of cactus selling shop or some sort of cactus, you know, market stand or something like that. Though I'm not sure how good of an idea that is, being that, you know, they're a camel they, and they're, <laughs> they like cactus. So I guess I gotta worry about them eating the supply, which is okay, I guess, even if they do, because what, <laughs> what use do I have for cactus except for to feed it to my camel? So I, I guess it worked itself out. Onwards to supply collection. To start things off, we're probably gonna need a bit of bamboo and then maybe some moss and just a smidge of dark oak. And after placing some blocks, this is what I've, what I seem to have come up with. Now, it's, it's not very good, but it's also not done. I think I, I still have to put the camel inside. I gotta gather up as much cactus as I can um, I was gonna put a couple potted plants here with the cactuses in it, some some yellow carpet here to kind of look like it's a, a shop of some sort. Because usually when you think of, you know, market stand, you think, oh, they got the wool blocks and the, the different colored checkered pattern, which is what I did for the ceiling here. I did some bamboo, uh, part mosaic, part normal, and then some moss. I know it probably doesn't look very good, but I'm not finished yet, so hopefully, hopefully it improves over time. Come now, Lump. Time to go to your new home. I really hope he likes it. Oh, I forgot the yellow carpet. Perfect. Now that we've got our lovely little stand built up, it's time to come up with a way for them to sell it, right? We got a camel here. We got, we got some sand, we got the stand. Why and how are they selling it? So I thought, similar to what Pambu is doing up there, maybe we can have some sort of cactus cart, kind of, you know, showing Showing where, where we got the camel from, their little desert village. Maybe we're, we're going to make a little a little cactus cart here that he he was attached to, maybe, in his at, at his village or something. I'm sorry. Brainstorming is hard. <laughs> so I'm just going to go do it. I'm just going to go get the wood and get started. And we're done. Here's our cute little... <laughs> A cute little cactus cart from the from the desert village that the the camel pulled and and put a lot of craftsmanship into and made himself, right? Is that is that what we're saying? Did we say he made this, or did did the villagers give it to him? Hmm, I have no idea. I'm just gonna say it's his. I don't know. I don't know where it came from. It's that's his cart. This is his cactus. I also decided it'd be a good idea to remove some of the sugar cane just so that I can I can put some fence here to make it seem like a proper a proper shop for cactus and not a shop for sugar cane. Oh no, it's raining! Quick, everybody, to the camel resting point. Okay, we'll be safe here. Whew. Would anybody would anyone like some fish? Here you go. Well, now we just wait for this storm to blow by. Is it done? It looks done. All right. I guess I guess we're all finished up with the with the camel stuff then. We got Mr. Lump here set perfectly inside of his little cactus stand. He's got his cactus cart over here where he makes all of his resources and he grows it and such. And then yeah, it looks <laughs> This this actually this doesn't look too bad. I uh, honestly while I was building this, I was a little I was a little put off. You know, I was worried it was coming out really bad. And now Looking at it as a whole, I think, I think it turned out pretty good. The the cart over there, I think, is really what kind of added to it, made it feel a little better, which makes sense considering the cart was from something. I saw I saw something similar to this on Google uh, a while back, and I don't remember who it was that posted the original one or where it came from. All I remembered was that the the trap doors here looked like tires. And there's the fence gates on the front that that made it look like a, a pole carriage of some sort. Which moves me on to the next part of the episode, which is removing this silly looking path that I for some reason have just a bunch of pieces of wood set into. It doesn't make any sense to me, and I very much don't like it. <laughs> so it's it's gotta go. Hello. Well, it's not much different, but it's better, I guess. And now we move on to the hard part of this path situation, and that is trying to come up with a completely brand new one, because this one that I got currently, it's, it's not this, it's awful. So I'm going to need packed mud, packed mud bricks, mushroom, brown mushroom blocks, um, 
and I think coarse dirt is the the best way to to go about placing this new path. I just wish it wasn't that hard to make. I'm a very manual farmer. <laughs> so this is gonna be awful. I need a lot of dirt. Well, time to get started. Now I'm gonna try and turn as much of this coarse dirt into mud as I can, and I'm thinking I'm gonna try to do it in the form of a time lapse because this, this is pretty boring stuff. So let's just, oh, I don't wanna do this. Let's get into it. That is the time lapse all done and dusted, but I had to end it just a little bit earlier than I had anticipated because my shovel decided it wanted to run out of durability. So me being the fisherman that I am, I moved it over to my, my shield bar to go and start fishing so that I could try to mend it up a little bit. And, and, hold on, I'll just, I, I saved the clip through GeForce Experience or whatever it's called, NVIDIA, so I'll just, I'll just show you the clip. No way! What? Can you believe that? <laughs> who, who, who gets mending a mending book on their first try on fishing of the day? For first try fishing of, of the day. I almost don't want to use this this mending book, but also I I feel like I should because it, it kind of would it would be a waste, right? So I, I guess. I will do this book the honors of putting it onto my boots because I don't have mending on my boots yet and I feel like they they could they could use that. So we're going to go Ooh, ooh, I can need my boots something. Hold on. Oh, this is I got I got to wait for this. That's this is important. Hold on. Okay, it took me a bit of thinking, but I have come up with what I want to name them. All right, so let's give them the mending book and ta-da! Yeah! The World Striders, the best netherite boots a, a puddle shine could ask for. That came out sarcastic, but I do mean it. I do, I do, I love these boots a lot. Oh, I guess I could put Feather Falling 4 on them as well, if, I, if I'm even allowed to. Now that we've got this boot side quest out of the way, it's time to start crafting up all these packed mud things that I need, which hopefully shouldn't be too difficult. All right, that wasn't too bad. Now I just need to get a couple Mushroom, uh, brown mushroom blocks, which I don't think I know how to get. Do I just do I just plant a, a mushroom on some some podzol and then hit it with some bone meal? How does this how does this work? Let me see. Oh, oh that is how it works. All right, and I can get some stems while I'm here. Cool, that is brilliant. It took like two seconds, and I got almost five stacks of this stuff. I also needed coarse dirt. I forgot. It's a good thing I got all kinds of it in this chest here, I think. Let me see. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. I got, yeah, I got, I got just a couple stacks. Okay. We've got all the materials needed for this new path that I had in mind. So hopefully I'm going to start placing a couple blocks down and see if it looks good. Seems like my neighborhood <laughs> has been attracting the Endermen again. And also two wandering traders. Well, welcome. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh, bye-bye. All right, back to it. And with these three blocks placed, I'm pretty sure that's the, the rest of the path blocks I needed. All right, let's go check it out from the thumbnail tree to give it a, a look-see. Oh, this has come together quite nicely, I believe. Also, a, a, I found a, a trader llama that didn't have a trader, so I, I put him next to the crops. With the path being finished, I can finally shift my attention over to the next thing I wanted to do, and that is the thumbnail tree. I've began to notice recently that for it being the thumbnail tree, it's not even the tallest structure around here, and it's hardly a tree. I mean, look at it. It's got hardly any leaves on it, and it's not even that tall. So I thought, why not make the thumbnail tree a proper tree that I can stand on top of proudly and, and look at, you know, my little golden farm village. So I'm gonna do that really quick, and I'll get back to you all with some progress when I break it some. Matil- ma ma <laughs> Materials? <laughs> Materials acquired. Not surprisingly, it is a lot harder than I remember making trees. But alas, even after having no idea what I was doing, 
I think this came out looking looking like a normal tree. I'm I'm pretty happy with this. And with that, I do say the thumbnail expedition or whatever you would call it is completely finished up, which means I can finally get started on the last thing that I wanted to do, and that was a bunch of fishing because all of my tools are broken. Well, I guess more specifically Tilly and Shatter, they could really use some some more work. Also, oh, oh yeah, my boots. <gasps> My what? My boots? My boots got filled up first? What the? What? How did that? I'm, I'm not questioning this. I'm just gonna go fishing. Fishing time lapse. Fishing time lapse is all finished up, and all my tools are mended back to good health. It's, it's a good thing I like fishing. Otherwise, that probably would have been really boring. It wasn't. I had a great time. I really wish there was a way you could ride llamas in this game. It is such a sh- Trip- Tripwire? Hook? I think- I think they put the trap wrong. <laughs> Why is it like that? <laughs> and on that note, I do believe I have unfortunately run out of time for today's episode. Which means I now gotta take the trek up the thumbnail tree. This- This just looks- It looks so much better. I love it so much. Oh! I need to wax the top of the, the llama light house. I forgot. It's okay. I'll do it another time. That being said, thank you all so very much, everybody, for watching this episode of Surviving Minecraft Hardcore. I appreciate every single one of you, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye. Would you like some fish? <laughs>